from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Again, we're taking a little turn back into winter for at least a couple days given how warm the month of February has been. We're on a near record warm pace for the first two weeks or so of, of February. And again, as we show you the, the calendar of highs, all the yellow boxes, those are the highs that have been above normal, most of them way above normal. Uh, and actually officially in the record book, today's high will go down maybe a little bit warmer than what we have currently uh, outside. But today and tomorrow feeling a lot more like February temperatures, not precip wise, but at least February temperatures returning for a couple days. Stout north winds as we look from the west side of Tulsa. So 43 wind chill of 35 degrees and again by February standards yeah it's cold outside we all know it could be way worse than this but given how the month has gone so far this is a little bit of a shock to the system north wind sustained at 17 but gusting at or above 30 miles per hour this afternoon look at the range of temperatures across the state this is a you know a true a noticeable cold front for a change Ida Bell if you want warm weather well it's a little too late to get down there but it's 70 degrees in Ida Bell 40s elsewhere 30s up around Miami 30s into the Oklahoma Panhandle. So we got a solid range of about 35 degrees uh, across the state right now. Here in eastern Oklahoma, those temperatures continue to drop and then level off. Now, Tulsa to the north, sunshine's breaking back out. So, Pahuska, you've bumped back up to about 46, you know, a slow climb. Bartlesville 40, prior 42, but then Grove, Grand Lake, cloudy, cold, 35 degrees. Southeastern Oklahoma, after you started off around the 60 degree mark this morning, you're now in the 40s. Long and short of it is, it's blustery and much chillier this afternoon. And you can tell where, you know, yesterday that first front moved in, stalled out. Tulsa to the north was cool, uh, to the south and east was pretty warm. You can tell the 24 hour temperature change from that stretch from McAllister, you fall up towards Tahlequah, you're running 20 to 25 degrees colder than you were this time yesterday. We mentioned earlier, we've got baseball this afternoon or you season opener uh, keep the coat handy if you're headed out there as we start the game at three o'clock there's gonna still gonna be some sunshine but temperatures only in the mid 40s low 40s at five o'clock gradually late in the afternoon more clouds will fill back in uh, as the front continues to push south there's a very very brief small window that there could be a little pop-up shower downpour in far southeastern Oklahoma Latimer the four county in the next hour or two but then that chance pretty much goes away again sun breaks for some and clouds for others but as we roll through this is the future temperatures hour by hour through the afternoon notice not a whole lot of movement if you see sunshine you'll rebound briefly to the mid to upper 40s or it stays cloudy low 40s or even upper 30s once you get into extreme northeastern Oklahoma tomorrow morning we're back below freezing lows in the 20s probably a hard freeze near north of Tulsa and those wind chill values I mentioned this earlier and I've kind of brought these down a little bit because I think we'll be well into the teens would not surprise me if wind chills are in the single digits north of Tulsa tomorrow morning. We'll still have a 10 to 20 mile an hour north wind. Again, for the MLK parade tomorrow morning here in downtown Tulsa, temperatures around freezing, wind chills, teens and 20s. So you're going to want to be bundled up for that. Uh, but highs by tomorrow afternoon, again, colder, upper 30s, low 40s, winds starting to diminish. So the 20, 30 mile an hour winds today will not be as strong tomorrow. Once we get past Sunday morning, we start to break back out of winter again. Sunday, upper 50s, if you're making some outdoor plans. Again, we'll wrap up the weekend, Sunday afternoon, on a much nicer note. 60s, President's Day Monday. We are back in the 70s again, it looks like, by the middle of next week. We could be all the way back in the upper 70s, pushing 80 by next Wednesday.